guys. It's your boy. Um, so, uh, I know it's been a very, very long time since I've uh, made an updated video um, on my ankle surgery, telling the picture of sub uh, some television. Um, and I think the last time I made a video, or the last video I uploaded, um, I was still very much in a cast. Um, I think it's been like three or four months since then. So I guess a lot of a lot of things to update you guys on, <coughs> and probably a lot of questions that viewers may have. I didn't think I'd get many questions and stuff like that, but people have been emailing in and stuff like that, so it's quite good. It gives me reassurance that it's a good thing I'm making these videos and uh, uploading. So to give you guys a background, um, yep. So I had subtalar talar navicular fusion uh, September the first of 2020. It is now March the 5th, 2021. So it has been approximately October, November, December, January, February, March. It's been just over six months since my surgery. Um, and yeah, at three months, at three months following my surgery, I had my cast taken off. Um, and you yeah, between then and now, uh, the last three months have been quite interesting like um, you know there wasn't much you know once I was making the videos before and I had my cast on there wasn't much um, I could say apart from you know the nerve damage that I was having and just the general discomfort and sadness that comes with being <laughs> locked up like that um, but you know now that I'm out of the cast and um well since being out of the cast and um since the nerve pain has somewhat subsided i've got a much better indication of how like the foot's been healing up and stuff like that and the kind of timeline in which that's all been happening and what i can say is that when you first if you have this surgery or these surgeries and you come out of your cast do not expect to be walking straight away <laughs> that's not how it works <laughs> so um what i found was when i came out of the cast i was actually worse for the first few weeks coming out of the cast than i was when i was in the cast um like just pain was insane um and i think it was because like you, you know and if you have um if you get nerve like, damage from the surgery, then you're probably more disposed, like predisposed to these pain levels um, than say if you don't get nerve damage. But if you have like a highly active like nervous system, you're going to be more sensitive to pain and more sensitive to kind of change. So going from being in a cast for three months with like no air, no water, nothing hitting your foot, to then all of a sudden being out of a cast and having you know air, cold temperatures. Um, uh, water from the shower all that sort of stuff hit your foot your foot's kind of kind of be like what the fuck is going on basically um so yeah my foot was very much in a constant state of what the fuck is going on for for i'd say about a month so pretty much for about a month after my cast came off i was still using my crutches um i didn't really use the walking boot i didn't like the walking boot at all at all i don't think it helped um, I was having just a lot of pain, like sensitiveness on the bottom of my foot. Like you would just touch it and I'd be like, ah. So yeah, like it was difficult to touch the foot, let alone walk on it. Uh, sorry, I'm on a bit of a main road now. Um, and so that was, that was uh, my experience in the first kind of month to month and a half after having my cast taken off. Um, so I, and I and I didn't really make a video. Sorry, I'm I'm not shouting now. I didn't really make a video on. Um, sorry, one second. So I didn't really make a video on updating my progress because I, I low-key felt like I was actually going backwards in my recovery. And I was quite disheartened and I just, I didn't really want to, I wasn't really feeling like making a video, like, you know, the COVID situation was kind of at its peak and we were put in another lockdown and I was stressed with uni work and, you know, my parents were kind of 
they're like going through a bit of a divorce and so it's like all of these different things were happening and I was kind of like off put making a video because I was like this I'm not really feeling positive right now to want to make a video so I didn't make a video um and then uh what happened is you know I was really like I'm a bit of a um hypochondriac so I started to think that uh, maybe the bone's infected, maybe the bone's not healing through, um, rare tear tear. Now I went for a few physio appointments, uh, had my follow up, and like gradually, very, very gradually, the pain levels have like started to improve. So like, as you can see now, I'm, I'm like walking, um, and I'd say pretty much, it's only been in the last two weeks or so, that I can comfortably say that I'm able to walk again, like without a limp, without the use of crutches and stuff like that. So me being able to walk again is very much a recent thing. And bear in mind, I've, I'm six months out now. So like if, <laughs> if you're having this surgery, it's a long fucking recovery. Like it's long, like I'm six months into my recovery now and I've only just started walking again. And even then, I can't really push it because, like, my bones are fused. Because you know what, I'm young, and the doctor said that you know you're young and your bones have done really well, blah blah blah. But all of the soft tissues, the muscles, the tendons, everything around it, still need time to like recover and build up. And so I had a uh, update with my surgeon the other day, and he was like to me, "Yeah, you're looking at still another six months before you're like, you know, you're at your strongest, basically." So really, I'm only halfway through. Um, like uh, I managed to get these other trainers um, and I'm gonna like I'm gonna basically slot in another video maybe in here of the trainers because my surgeon recommended these trainers for the fact that like you know when you have a tail and navicular fusion you lose some of your motion so what I've found is that I'm struggling a little bit to walk downstairs and stuff like that because that, that motion is gone a little bit um, and so these trainers have been really like helping me. Um, they're called ASICs. They're, they're the ASICs Meta Runner, I think. Meta Runner, I think so. ASICs Meta Runner. I will uh, put a little link in the description below. Import a little video. Probably do a link because I can't be bothered to input a video. And um, yeah, they've been helping me walk a bit more than I normally would walk. But um, yeah, like it, <laughs> it's a it's a tough it's a tough recovery. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna say it honestly. It's a tough recovery. I've not been able to train or work out or go to the gym or anything like that. I've lost, I think, seven kg. I'm now my at my lightest weight possible. I'm I'm 57 kg now. For context, I'm five foot six uh, in height. Five foot six, five foot seven, and um, yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. But I'm gonna start training again soon. Um, so yeah, this is one of those things that you have to be really patient with your body. Um, just all around patient. Um, what else? And the other thing as well is that like, um, I'm sorry, I was is that basically as my recovery is kind of like coming towards its uh what do you call it like as i'm kind of um coming I'm, as i'm moving into the second part of my recovery so you know the first six months is like most of the recovery and then the kind of like second six months is very much slow just gradual like improvements and building up of strength i'm probably going to be making less videos so i probably might just end up doing a, a video once every three months so you might get two more videos this year relating to the recovery of my surgery. Um, I like to think I've put in a lot of detail and stuff like that in terms of like my surgery and stuff. One second, let me walk past these builders. Um, uh, yeah, so... Um, so what I'm probably going to end up doing with this channel is just over, it's not like a, um, an, an idle channel. Uh, I'm probably going to start 
doing more videos to do with rehabilitation work um, calisthenics training health and fitness because I'm quite into um, uh, like longevity like I have a pastime of studying kind of like longevity uh, kind of like anti-aging um, supplements uh, training regimes um, and yeah like I'm on a journey to fucking <laughs> uh, put on some weight put on some mass beef myself up a bit and so doing that in the later stages of this recovery, I think that's probably going to be the main focus of this um, uh, YouTube channel going forward. Might invest in a camera, might not. Might invest in some uh, like equipment to make my videos better. Might not. Might spend some time in learning how to video edit. Might not. I guess you'll see. Uh, I have a TikTok as well because you know TikTok seems to be a thing right now so I'm going to start posting up on my TikTok so I will put a uh, like a thing in the description box of my TikTok my Instagram in case you guys want to follow me there um, so yeah man I think that's just going to be what I'm going to be doing um, as always if you have any questions or anything you want to know more about don't hesitate to drop me an email uh, leave a comment below more than happy to answer any questions um, but yeah like my main reason for doing this was because there just wasn't a lot of information out there on the web um, and so going through the surgery myself like I can hand on heart say what the experience has been like um, and yeah good luck to everybody who decides to have this surgery because it's not an easy one it's a long recovery very difficult a lot of mental challenges as well but yeah till next time guys